You haven't been waiting long, I hope. <laughs> well, guess you and Alex needed a while to catch up. Hmm, yeah. All swell now, though. Let's go. Time's at a premium. They posted lookouts. Go figure. I doubt they'll play nice and just let us in. So what's lagging? Take out the guards. Silent Vista. Let's go! Let's go to the yard. They uncaged the demon. Serve it. We need to destroy it. Aim for the yeah. fourth point. Push demon, demon. Oh no. We're almost home now. We got nowhere to run. Service cooling down. Port's wide open. Oh no. <laughs> They're done for. Not bad, not bad. So far. You made a focus fire on the open vent. We're moving. Keep it up! Service cooling down. Port's wide open. They're done for. Time to get rid of the other. God damn it! Okay, 
Okay, where's the last one? I sure missed this. I'm, I'm experiencing some hang-ups now, but I don't know if, if it's game or just my rig. Their choice when they opened up at us. Yep. <laughs> Fuck me. Solomon Reed. I would be lying if I said I have missed you. And you, you put Mama Bridget. Under your spell, will you be with me as well? Heard about me? Huh. How? Me, my temple. We are one. My eyes and ears are everywhere. This isn't a temple. It's a malicious demon mill. And you're no priest. You're a two-bit bandit and murderer. Murderer? Ha! It takes one to know one. So, what will it be? Will you strike a bargain with me as you did with that bitch, Bridget? Here to make a deal. Nothing more. A deal? Let me guess. An empty promise and a bullet to the brain when you decide I am of no use to you. That kind of deal. I Actually, that's a pretty good idea. Try to strike a deal with Solomon Reed. Remember them, Agent Reed. If one party is backed into a corner, it is not negotiation. It is extortion. You say tomato, I say fucking deal with its lighter. Now, cut the shit and do us the courtesy of hearing us out. Plane crash in Dogtown. Heard about it? Plane? <laughs> you mean the Space Force One? Everyone hear about that? Need your help locating someone who was on board. And I would surely oblige. Were I not blind, wheelchair bound, and do not give zero fucks about that or you. Come on, stop pretending like you got a choice. Donk, Dimsa, what specifically do you want from me? Just like that? No haggling. I already know this score. The Langley men send a clear message. Soon after SF1 crashed, a runner was attacked while in the net. Attack severed our link. Need to locate her, stat. Ah. So you want one to investigate net traffic on the day of the crash? Got a malfunctioning relic in my skull. That's how she made contact. That help any? Hmm. Perhaps. I will need a peek at this trinket in your head. Whatever. Mom. Okay, I guess. I will be gentle, this I promise. Yeah, right. Keep your eyes on him, Reed. I am blind, not deaf. Let us see what we have here. I see traces. 
bursts of data in cyberspace. The wake of someone's passage. A bit stronger stuff. Dead and mad. This I do not believe. You out of your mind coming to me with this shit. Think Slider just happened on you hanging out in my head. Nah, this is something else. What'd you see? The black wall. It bring only death. Okay. Specific Slider. The woman. Did you know she used the black wall protocol to connect with you? Uh, uh, mm, what? I had no idea. No. Now yeah, because you, you, you could uh, that mean for check us? into net what we basically need. everywhere during 2020. How to explain to layman? The net has layers, various vectors for translocation. But there is one thing that must not be touched. The black wall. Except Voodoo Boys touch it all the, woman, the time. She is walking, ticking bomb, megatons. She go boom, everybody fucked in the ass. Every last So what one. are you saying? She has ported a... It is a dam that protects Old us, net. the civilized world, from the strange bets of the cyber wilderness. If your two leg bomb crack the dam down the middle, it will unleash a flood. Wipe us off the map, just like Haiti. <laughs> Means we were fucked. Uh, don't have uh, enough points for that. Now, why you and the Pacifica Voodoo's don't see eye to eye? Because they're poking holes in the black wall? Yeah. They do not penetrate, only jerk off next to it. Netwatch try to keep them in check. But you have to be cracked in the first place to want to stick your gigit into a live wire outlet. To the AIs, past the black wall, you are no more than a cockroach, a rabbit, a fragment of outdated code with no meaning. This why Netwatch flatline any who put integrity of black wall at risk. It's no laughing matter, my friend. It is a concern for the safety of all. That's why you, my friend, need to restore V's connection to our girl. You are out of your mind. Well, now you're part of this madness, too. Welcome to the shit show. <laughs> More D. Non-negotiable, Slider. We need to find her. Besides, as long as she's out there, they catch her scent. They catch yours now, too. They'll set their wirehead freaks on to you and your people. So, you'll help me clean this up, cover all tracks, snip any threads leading back to you and consequently us. Do that, and we'll be square. You'll be off the FIA's hook, too. <sighs> Meld, it's my lucky day. Yep, welcome to do my life. This can go wrong. Ever done anything like this before? What? Be the bridge between us using the Blackwall protocol? What the fuck do you think, eh? Confirm the data transfer before I change my mind. Here we go. Interesting data feed. Frozen moment. Working together now. With Alex, too. I can hardly believe he's here, but it's a good thing. 
So, whenever we linked up, talked, didn't mention you were tapping into the black wall. I didn't. You didn't need to know that. Risky as shit, that. I'm putting my life on the line, not yours. Blackwall the Relic was the only way to reach you after SF1 was hacked. Listen, babe, don't have much time. Hansen's people tracked me down after I res the Chimera. I've been... detained. I'm not in any danger. Not as long as I behave. Do what I'm told. I need your help. There's... Songbird. Something's okay? not right, girl. Black Wall! Uh, Black Sapphire V. Hansen's hosting a huge shindig there. Crash it on the sly. I'll find you. Make sure to tell her. I haven't for a sec forgotten what we've heard. Uh, Fuck! Is everything alright, dude? Uh, I should have checked out the guy. I think Slider might be dead. Connection severed. Yep. It's over. He short circuit. Slider. He flatlined because of us. Flatline, period. Need you to come clean. Were you gonna off him no matter what? Questions moot. Slide is dead. What's done is done. <laughs> Johnny. So, Songbird. What's up with her? Got the link back up. We spoke. She's fine. Mostly. Needs our help, but she's fine. In one piece. Alright. Give me the deets later. Come on, let's delve her out of here. There could be more of Slider's lackeys looking around. Pretty many square meters in those me mega structures. What did Songbird tell you? She's tapped into the black wall. Didn't deny it. No big thing. Kinda. We need to find her. Fast. Did she drop any coordinates? Song needs our help, Reed. Hansen's nabbed her, holding her for... reasons. God damn it. I can't imagine any worse news than that. Black Sapphire. Said Hansen's throwing a big bash there. We get in, she'll find us. Any idea what and where this sapphire is? Over there. See the tall of the two scrapers? Next to the one with the big ass green. Okay. That's the black sapphire. A would be hotel ended up a failed multi billion eddy investment. Hence, as fortress, smack in the middle of Dogtown. Well, that's we can't a big, barge in. big. Doubt we have anyone on the inside or affiliated who could crack open a door either. Alex and I will pull some strings, run our contacts. You do the same. You know. Think of who you know around here. Maybe what will happen on an idea, find a way. No local fixer. Goes by Mr. Hands. Could ring him. Do it. We'll be in touch. Hands, need a favor. Straight to biz. I like it. Aiming to go to an upcoming shindig at the Black Sapphire. Lusting to dance with the devil? V, the place is inaccessible and treacherous in equal parts. You cannot simply walk in uninvited as opposed to, say, Conpecky Plaza. Yeah. Surely there's some way in. <sighs> Very well, I'll be frank. A handwritten invitation, unachievable, but I can work something out. I'll need a favor in return, though. Reputation is a currency. Its value derives from collective faith. It fluctuates. Do you understand me? Okay. Yeah, I see what you're driving at. 
Want me to help you earn a little rep? Precisely. Complete a few gigs for me, give my reputation in Dogtown a shot in the butt cheek. The Black Sapphire plans will be yours. All those drones. Think you can bank this a quickie. Tight window I'm working with. If you want a smooth deal, the cogs must be greased. Bring me grease, V. All right, Hans. Got yourself a deal. I'm oh so glad. I'll feed her, Zane. Yeah, not like we got better shit to do than spend precious time on some teeny bopper gang drama. Yep. Want to see this through, Johnny? Shut it. <laughs> uh huh. Hey, it might help. Setting our own pups against us? Do you think that makes you fucking clever? I'm gonna regret I'll this. I'll teach you not to fuck with Yuri. Uh. Let's not aim, aim to the head. Additional generators in the truck. Good job getting some spares. They have a kid drive them to the hospital. No, they are not available anymore. Rookie clapped them when we let him drive alone. Little Torres guy. <laughs> Gotta be fucking kidding me. I handle him. Public display. Put his body under the needle. I want those generators back. Understood. Yes, boss. Won't happen again. I hope. Better hope so. Fucker found out. Paco's likely hanging somewhere as a warning. Damn it. Fuck those cunts. <laughs> Fucking train wreck. Chum could be alive by some miracle. I still stand a chance. Okay. Right, let's see what's here. Paco. Me. No head. Leaves the chick. If Hanson suspected her, she'd be swinging up there too. Maybe. Who knows?
Okay. That, that's a different, definitely good thing. V. Two NCPD officers are in need of rescue. And who but you could save those sworn to protect us? Now, these two little piggies went to market, struck a deal with one of Hanson's men, Dodger. What could go wrong, I think? Ouch. Correct. Everything. <laughs> Everything can Stella, go. Stella, the fiancé of one of our officers, will fill you in. Get in. Best of luck. Stella? Something the matter? Get down. Can't get spotted by Dodger's men. If it makes you feel better. Listen, this is serious, okay? You don't mess with Dodger's people. Um, okay, sure. Okay, sure. Pretty comfy, actually. Yes. Yeah. You could actually you sleep in your car. Bill and his buddy Charlie. They're trapped in the building across the street. Hans mentioned they're both in CPD. Both grade A gonks too. Sometimes do side gigs around town. Uh huh. Wanted to cut a deal with Dodger, but things obviously went south. Bill called me from inside. Said only that, and I quote, "It's bad." And if I don't get help, Dodger will paint the walls with their brains. Okay. It's bad. Nothing else. It's really bad, Stella. Please get help. I love you. Sweet of him, but not really what I was after. When I asked what happened, he said it was too complicated for a quick hollow. So, Bill's your fiance. Charlie's his partner. What else can you tell me about him? Bill. Bill's a good guy, but Charlie? He's like the big older brother that gets you into all kinds of shit. Okay, so we don't like Charlie. Okay. Look, Night City's turned all of us into who we are, but Charlie? He's a fucking magnet for trouble. Always has been. So you, Bill, and Charlie are all badges with a whole precinct full of badge chooms at your back. But instead, you call him Merc. Dodger's not exactly a legit businessman. Can't call dispatch for this. They'll crucify us. Why has Dodger got you all shaken at the knees? He's a dealer with close ties to Hanson. Total psycho, too. Moved to Dogtown to avoid serious prison time. Just please try not to wipe Dodger's men. You'll make things go from bad to worse. Take this access card. Dodger took over an abandoned NCPD precinct. Security systems are still up and running, so this should get you in without a hitch. Upside's a last-gen NCPD tech, huh? Save them. Please. Okay, so this is the NPC district that N NYP uh, Police de 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 Department. I saw this before, but it didn't have any use. Park his Punisher. Great. There's a switch to the right. Use it. My right or your right? My fucking right. Hello? Someone out there? It's V. Here to help you guys out? Finally. Oops. Bill's losing his fucking mind over here. Okay, let's try to get this open. Fucking slab this thing. Little help. Better step back. Uh. Jesus fucking Christ! I know. What the fuck? Don't worry. Not my blood. Uh huh. <laughs> the hell happened? Uh, better see for yourself. It's just through here. Okay. What in the... What did you do? This is Bill. Okay. 
Bill. And this is Hi. Still wasn't kidding. Doesn't get much more bad than this. <laughs> Could really use your help. You don't fucking say. We we, we didn't kill him, okay? We, we we swear. Hey, long as you're paying, I'm just looking at two innocent cops standing over a dead body. <laughs> Go on. Covered with blood. Tell her about your genius idea. My idea? You're the one who Plan set up the deal with the was Dodger. rock fucking solid. If only you didn't leave a bag of drugs in front of a junkie. How was I supposed to know he'd swallow it? You said drugs? Oh, you go! No, you! I swear to fucking God. When like this. Choom over here clips Dodger's shit. Hightails it to NC. Okay. To catch wind, Dodger's put out a bounty to bag him. Bring back his nose candy. Okay. Bump right into him during a routine stop. Dumb fucking luck. Okay. Choom was carrying seven ounces of Sin Coke. So we cuffed him. Took him here. Choom swallowed seven whole ounces? That even possible? So we're here, waiting on Dodger, when Bill pops the baggie on the table like it's nothing. All of a sudden, this gonk turd yells, Fuck you, pigs, and stuffs the bag in his mouth. Could've had a food tube implant. Like a deep, wide throat. Yeah. Like the one your mom's got. <laughs> Fuck you even talking about, Bill. Couldn't get him to just spit it out? We tried to make a trek oh tr track it tra fuck. Poke a fucking hole in his neck. No dice. <laughs> Bag must have broke because he got all foamy at the mouth. Started spazzing out and then just croaked. That's when we started to panic. This fool gulped tens of thousands worth of eddies. What the fuck else are we supposed to do? <laughs> if the bag already broke, why bother trying to play Operation? We panicked, all right? Shit happens. Yeah. This... It's all gone. Dissolved. And now Dodger's gonna end us. So you bring him the thief who swiped his dope. Only now, there's no thief. Or dope. Yeah. It's about the gist of it. You gotta help us get out of here. All right. Let's get moving. One last tiny thing. Came here in our squad car and, uh, kinda need it back. Just uh -oh. keeps getting better. Okay. Where is it? In the garage. To the garage it's we official, go. V. Finally made it to the Major League. Yeah. League of First Class Leadheads, to be precise. Nice of you to join us, Johnny. Well, Always Stella's value gonna your kill interest. me if she finds out what we did. I'm a dead man walking. Know what you could use? What? A nice big pair of balls. Oh, cause you're such a tough guy? Not like you stutter in front of the cap every fucking time. I don't fucking stutter. Let us through here before. What was the code again? 2893? It was 2983. Idiot, it was 2893. Saw him punch it. Go on. Didn't work. Ha! <laughs> 2983, I fucking told you. Dodger school. Careful. Huh? Uh, what? <laughs> what? <laughs> what just happened? Our squad cars right through here. You do have them, don't you? The keys. Shit. Wait, don't tell me you left them upstairs. Kill Joom. Got him right here. Roger. Oh, fuck. Would you look at that? A welcoming party. How thoughtful. Greetings, fellas. Oh, am I early? We... Uh, 
We can explain. Quiet. You, I don't know. Care to introduce yourself? Got hired by these two to help. Oh, <laughs> they look like they could use a hand, all right. One thing I can't put my finger on, though. What's that you got on your faces? A little ketchup? Run out of napkins? Uh... Yeah, well... Uh, no, not us! Per se. You any better at speaking full sentences? Um... Uh, there was a shootout. A, a, a guy got hit. It was, it was bleeding out fast. Uh, after that, brought your stuff here. Uh, left it all upstairs, so... It's all good. Another smooth talker. All right. Third time's a charm. Is he spinning yarns? Don't need me to answer that. You're right. I don't. Charlie, Bill, just tell him what happened. <clears throat> so, uh... We caught the gonk who clipped your seven ounces. Brought him back here. Problem is, he, uh... He ate the product. He ate the... Swallowed all. Seven ounces? In front of you? Yeah. Uh, it was so quick we didn't have time to react. We, we tried taking it out, but... but You did what now? Um, hey, don't look at me. Wasn't there. Starting to wish I was. So spill what happened. And don't skimp on the gory deeds. Yeah. <laughs> we... We... We tried taking the stuff out f from him, like from the inside. Inside? I don't even. So all this blood. Wanted to get it back for you, but it all kind of um dissolved in him. You believe this shit? Savages, boss. <laughs> okay. And how do you factor into this freak show? Hey, look, I'm just as stupefied as you are. Two gonks over here called me to pull him out of this clusterfuck. Let me get this straight now. You two fools let this scares bag OD on your watch. Then slice him open after the queso blancos are already dissolved. As if that's not enough, you hire a merc. Cause you're scared you get two to the back of your skulls. How sums it up. <laughs> oh, you can't make this shit up. Fucking badges, man. Protect and serve my ass. That's why they call you NC's finest, huh? Finest of fuck ups, am I right? Ah, wait till the boys hear this. <laughs> Should have caught them on camera, boss. So. We good? Sure. For now. Besides, I'd give a measly seven ounces for a story like that any day. You're free to go, officers. Ought to check on the boys upstairs, boss. Oops. Touche. Bear with us, Melissac. Check their biomines. Oops. Oops. <laughs> are green. They're bleeding. <laughs> I didn't kill anyone. Right. Get them out of here. Before I change my mind. <laughs> But don't think you heard the last of me, fellas. Bill, Charlie, get in the car in Delta. Move. <laughs> we're going, we're going. Th thanks, V. Time to leave, Merc. Yeah, they were pretty chill that... Uh V, so tell me, what did our boys in blue do this time? I swear to Christ, if someone asks me one more time... Prickly today, are we? I'll make do without details. If the client is happy, then so am I. Contract closed. Hey, hold, hang on a sec, Hans. Remember our deal? Yes, the Black Sapphire. I have an entry strategy for you. Foolproof. Meet me at the Heavy Hearts. Okay, be there soon. Okay, we can we can meet him. Nice.
make it together. Friendly coast. Okay, they didn't. The, the spies didn't find any anything. Two five uh, eight nine. Nice be a pyramid. Okay, voodoo boys don't like me. Or oh, voodoo girls. Hey, you there! This is a nice place, so play nice, hear me? Got our eyes everywhere! Heavy Hearts Club. Accessibility is good. Lot of hustle around. Got big guests in from the city. Mm-hmm. Almost every day. Huh. We get all kinds of traffic in here from peeps looking to settle their biz in peace and quiet. Not many sides us can offer that. Uh, so city inside city. Wow. Surprisingly fine club. Five eight nine. Yes, I'm right. Dad's working. Mm -hmm. Now I see. Uh, and what is it your mother can't help you with? Not to worry. I'll find him the moment I get home. Can that be our deal? You've my word, Sugar Bear. <laughs> I, I love you too. Okay, well, uh, hey, Fixer can have a well, crime crime boss can have a family. That's that's to to totally realistic. Ah, if it isn't V. V, my favorite Merc. Splendid. What you completed for me significantly shifted the playing field vis-a-vis -vis Hanson. Excellent work, precisely as requested. Come on, Hans. Flattery? Really? Seems a little beneath you. An overused tactic. Agreed. Unnecessary. No, V, this is strictly business. For those who do their work well, praise is a mere restating of the facts. Maybe the one thing I didn't expect, to see the man behind the hollow curtain. The elusive Mr. Hands in the flesh. Not only did you rescue those clowns in blue, you also managed to reach an accord with Dodger. Your head in the game throughout, well done. You have proven to be a person I can trust. Hence, my decision to drop the veil and meet in person. A rare occurrence, I assure you. Were I to have more virtuosos like you, I wager I'd have more than Dogtown in my grasp. Dogtown, you, you are Hansen. Pacifica, then I'd line up the rest, snort, and it'll be done. <laughs> Wait.
working with bona fide professionals, positively a treat. Gigs you had me do. How will they solve your Hansen sitch? Take a boxer. He can't knock out his opponent. What then? He goes to work on the body. Once his adversary's stamina wanes, he looks for his opening, connects fists with jaw. So he doesn't I know like it may not Hansen. seem all that clear from where you stand, but the gigs you have completed will allow me to audaciously shift some of the pawns and figures on the chessboard that is Dogtown. Checkmate is but a few moves away. Take it you'd prefer Dogtown with no Hansen at the helm? Hansen wields much power, greedily so. He's also clever. These traits I tolerate, even value, when occurring in isolation. But all at once, no. Especially not in one who grips an entire district in the palm of his hand. It makes business... trying. And arrest you in some tea. It's my own blend. Sure, why not? So, how did this combat zone become Dogtown? Do you know? I think I do. I heard this and that. Something to do with the war? 2069. Colonel Hansen led an operation colorfully called Midnight Storm. The objective? To occupy this combat zone and establish an NUSA staging ground in Night City. Soon after, the sides agreed to a ceasefire. Hansen's force was left to fend for itself. Headquarters, the public, everyone feigned ignorance, pretending Hansen and company were never here. But our good colonel decided to put down roots. He declared this combat zone an NUSA territory. In our terms, he carved out an enclave for himself and went from soldier to arms dealer overnight. Uh huh. Trying to play. Marooned he was. Two weeks for a bullet to reach his brain, everyone thought. But his brain remained intact, and he became a force to be reckoned hey, with. If this is a, a man whose existence is a threat to many is a dangerous man indeed. If this is a um, NUSA territory enclave, he doesn't have a reason to shoot the Air Force One down. Let's table politics for now, huh? Go straight to biz? Business. Hmm. Of course. The Black Sapphire. Hansen stronghold, guarded by elite soldiers. Military quarters are situated on lower levels, while top floors are a decadent haven for the ultra-rich. The building's blueprint was not easily procured, I should say. Hansen guards his hotel secrets as if they were an embarrassing rectal itch. But, given a will, ways are usually found. You help a client of mine, they reciprocate, and I gain latitude. Quid pro quo in full effect. The building plans are yours. I'll even throw in vulnerabilities to watch for, a token of my appreciation. And, though this goes without saying, the data, its source, are completely secure. No one knows you have it. Data leaks, or lack thereof, are the difference between myself and, say, the late Mr. Deshawn. He doesn't have a B plan. The Shard. Black Sapphire info and blueprints. All nooks and crannies. I trust it's all you need to waltz in and perform your planned pirouettes. Yet a word of caution. Even fully prepared, you'll be marching into a pit full of vipers. Watch your step. Thanks, Hans. I only hope this won't mark the end of our collaboration. Truth be told, a few new assignments seem imminent. Let me guess. 
More local political gaming? Activity is abundant in Dogtown, and behind closed doors, plots and schemes. Should change ever occur, as it inevitably must, someone really ought to pave the way for a smooth transition. Be looking forward to those new gigs, then. You will hear from me soon. This, I guarantee you. And V, whatever happens at the Black Sapphire, make sure you come back alive. You're going where local and international politics mix. Edgar Wright Strong Brooks. currents, both. I'll make sure to plant my feet firmly. Lena Molina. Local PD celebrity. She's being kidnapped. PD rental studio. Brain porium. What a fucking mess. It's like the place was robbed. Finger on the trait, V. Sit your ass down and shut your yap. I need to think. How much longer you keep me here? I need to, like, get my fucking nails done. The studio will make you pay for this. Every day is millions lost. Millions. Doll. <laughs> okay. Who's in the cruising? So like me, I'm for goodness sake. I ain't never gonna be, and never gonna try to be. Lock me up for goodness sake. And spare me, do you hear me? Spare me from the cold. Oh, Lena XXL. Okay. against my will. Mm -hmm. I am Lena Molina, queen bitch of Dogtown. Listen, get me out of here and I'll... I'll let you take me out to dinner. Maybe. Uh, guess uh. it's your lucky day. <laughs> hey, baby doll, eyes up. Stay at my tits long enough. Bash this asshole in the head and take me home. Put a sock in it, dumbass. <clears throat> Gonk in the boots, my friend, and a uh, partner, Tool. Okay. Here I we had a fucked up partnership. Yeah. Let's go upstairs before he gets too riled up. I'll explain everything. This is gonna be good. Can feel it. Jesus Christ. Fuck! I should be scrolling. You're tanking my sales, my popularity. Mark my words, assholes. My boys will find me. They'll bust me out of this shithole. Slightly different. Tool's been a diehard fan of Lena since the beginning. Okay. We lives all her BDs. Okay. This being Dogtown, a few days ago we had a power surge. BD Wreath was pulling juice while Tool was, well, being Lena. Okay. BD got stuck in his head, sizzled his synapses. Ever since then, he thinks he's the real Lena Molina. Talks like her, acts like her, the whole works. Figuring as you're already a witness to this whole mess, might have a job for you. Your chum needs a ripper, stat. Take you want to get him some help? Ah, eh, no need. 
Tool will get back to normal in no time. <laughs> Since you're here. No, doctor. Willing to pay top eddies if you can help with a little something. A little something. What's little something? It's about capitalizing on the present state of affairs. Catch my drift? Okay. I don't know. Ah, <sighs> look. Stores barely staying afloat. Nobody's buying our squirrels and Hansons, bleeding us dry in rent. Yeah, heads, Nova. Catches your eye. But let's not kid ourselves. Folks in Dogtown ain't ample of the wallet. I take serious gigs and the scratch to match. Better off asking a chew. For this, I need someone with thick skin. Might involve getting into a big dick contest with Lena's entourage of gangoons. You want to attract more customers. I get it. But where do I fit in all this? Gotta stay and keep an eye on Tool. Make sure he doesn't off himself or break something. You go get Lena and bring her here for a BD shoot. We'll do a collab. Call it Double Gang Banger. Mm hmm. Lena gets content for an episode. Store's rep gets a boost from her fans. Win win. Not afraid Tool might stay this way forever? Nah, he'll be fine. Sometimes peeps go a little wackadoodle post virtue. Trust me, I've seen it all. More worried about those barkest pricks coming to collect. Cause right now, we're making as much as a joy toy with erectile dysfunction. Okay, I'll get Lena down here. Just need her address. Sent. If we scroll something preem, I'll throw in a little extra. Sounds like a bulletproof plan. What could go wrong? <laughs> Everything. Ought to help this poor gonk, not scroll him like some zoo animal. What would you do? Talk to a ripper? Or someone who knows a thing or two about virtues? Disoactive identity defective dash onset. Dido. <laughs> Dido. <laughs> For short. If the condition doesn't sort itself out, you need to use what we call the divide attention method. You show them one thing that's uniquely personal, another that represents the personality they are taking on. The re resulting cognitive dissonance should snap them out of it. Fingers crossed. Okay. <laughs> you <laughs> like like a magnet to the weirdest shit in city city, aren't you? Induced identity. No. Interesting. Dear Lena, I've been following you ever since the beginning when you were making those crazy amateur BDs with those bikers from the Badlands. I'm going through a difficult time right now. Life kicked me pretty hard in the ass. I can only catch a break when I'm being you. Thanks for the preem content. I know you're putting your body and soul into these BDs. Your biggest fan, Edgar Toole. Cute. Starting to wish I hadn't burned all my fan mail. Handwritten. Heartfelt, too. It must have been important getting this to her. Okay, let's go and find Lena. I was pretty surprised that people actually live in uh, the combat zone, but yeah. That's that's the lore of the cyberpunk anyway. There's always people who live there and can't move out for one reason or another. 
Heads up. Better get rid of them before they steal our little starlight. Wanna try talking to them first? Could be tombs of Lena's. Once your chrome ripped out of you? No? Then fuck off! It's funny. Placed a bet on the body count lottery, and guess what? Only four bodies away from my lucky number. Shit, there's Lena. If only I Pretend you're it. someone important. Lay some uh, studio cool on her. Don't need acting pointers from you, Johnny. Jesus fucking Christ. Did you see what happened? They were like this when I got here. Case of wrong place, wrong time. Sorry for your loss. If they were tombs of yours, that is. Ugh, great. What a mess. I'll have to call Melanie, tell her to reopen casting. <sighs> anyway, you want an autograph or something? I'm a talent scout for BD Syndicate, and boy, oh, do I have the perfect role for you. We're piloting a new BD show, and if it takes off, and you've got good chemistry with the co-star, we'll dive straight into full production. Whoa, slow down, lady. I might be easy, but I'm not cheap. And I always charge in advance. Ain't a problem. Transfer in now. Wow. You really know how to impress a girl, huh? Yeah, money does. I take it we've got a deal. We do. Did you bring me my script? Uh, won't be needing one. It's all improvised. Sending you the address. I'll meet you there tonight. The producer, Shank, he'll be waiting for you on location. Uh, got to get ready, do my makeup, nails. Uh, thanks, sweetie. Ciao. You're wearing my face plate. You even copied my shoes. Have you no shame, bitch? Oh, no. I won't let this go. These looks are copyright protected, okay? You will be paying me for the rest of your life. Your sure looks, fatso? Yours? Bags, shoes, glasses, all custom made. Lena Molina is a registered trademark. You fucking copycat bitch. Okay, like this is fucking weird. How am I even supposed to act? All right, people. Director on set. Someone's got to take the reins. So great to have you back. Send those later. Sending you your lines. Just read them out loud. Okay. Got them. Dear Lina, I've been following you ever since the beginning when you were making those crazy amateur BDs with those bikers from the Badlands. I'm going through a difficult time right now. Life kicked me pretty hard in the ass. I can only get a break when I'm being you. Thanks for the prime content. I know you're putting your body and soul into these BDs. Your biggest fan, Edgar Tool. Whoa! You look just like Lena Molina. I am Lena Molina. Listen, I know life is hard, and you do stuff to try and escape, like pretending to be someone else. But at some point, you have to accept who you really are. We all do. Am I being punked? Formulaic conventional narratives are so last gen. This is art, okay? A study of the labyrinth of the human soul. With a bunch of amateurs. I'm out of here. <laughs> Don't sell her any more BDs. Uh. Thanks for the help. Settle your fee in a sec. What the? Shank! What the fuck am I wearing? Uh, 
Uh, hey, Tool. Glad you're back. Back? Huh? Fuck you mean back? Tell you all about it later, okay? No need to drag our uh, customers into this. Happy? Can't believe I'm saying this, but sometimes you actually manage to do shit right. Gee, thanks. <laughs>